So, I made Flappy Bird, but without that threat. <laughs> I hope. As you guys probably understand, I'm risking my life by developing this game. But that threat aside, this project began in 2020 and I actually posted a video about the first playable version of the game. It is so cringe that it's private now. I was hoping that video would boost the game, but it was a failure, and the game too. So I gave up and didn't update the game since that. But I think the game is fun, so I'm giving it a second try. The lack of appealing design and faulty mechanics did not interest the people enough, so they will try it. So I never end up improving it. Since I don't want to give up on this game yet, I will finish it now and release a totally new version. This game is basically Flappy Bird, but better. To learn how to develop a game like this, first, I made a Flappy Bird clone. It was kinda easy, I just followed the steps from a video I found on YouTube. I changed the assets of the game just so the game doesn't look exactly like Flappy Bird. Obviously later I will improve it. This game without a nice score system has no end to it, so I used player prefs to keep track of the player score. After making the high score work, I started searching for assets for the game so I could improve the game art. I decided that instead of a bird, I would use um, a bee, because bees, bees are cool. For the background of the game, I found an infinite one on Unity Asset Store, so it is mine now, and it is looking very cool. For the obstacles, I bought a bundle, and for now, I will keep developing the game and come back to the game art in the end. I implemented rewarded ads on my game, but don't worry, you will only be watching an ad if you choose to do it. I will never force you to watch an ad on my games. If you really want to help my journey on game development, you can check out my Patreon page. There you can have access to exclusive content and early access to my YouTube videos. To make the game more challenging, I implemented an online high score system. It took a while, but now you can challenge your friends and people all around the world. Can you beat my score and get on the top of the leaderboard? You can check out and try the game on your Android phone, so search tap to fly on the Play Store, leave your review if you can and help me improve the game. To spice the game up a bit, I added two different game modes besides the classic mode. You can play the inverse mode, where the B will go up and you have to tap to go down, and the power-up mode. This mode is only for two hardcore players, so don't try it if you are not a pro gamer. For now, the high score is merged for all game modes, but let me know if you like the game and want a separate high score system for each game mode. Hope you like it, and see you in the next one.